Welcome to the first tutorial of Mr. Viewer 2, also known as MRV2, which we'll call it from now on. MRV2 has five different toolbars. It has the file menu, which is the first toolbar. It has the top toolbar, which has the color information and channel information. It has the pixel toolbar. It has the timeline toolbar. And it has the status toolbar. Of course, at the center of it all is the view window, which is the main important part where you will see the movie. Let's go through, let's go open a movie first and we'll go through the top bar for a while. We can open a movie in different ways. We can open with file open, which will open the file requester. You can also use drag and drop or you can or you can use command line open the files command line okay in this case we load it the avatar trailer We have it, we have the default view, default color channel as it's a movie that it doesn't have different layers. It just has one layer, the default one. Then we have the exposure or gain. The gain is a value from 1 to 64 or whatever, which allows you to control the brightness of the image. The exposure is shown here. It, the gain that you set is shown as an exposure value, which is F8 by default, but can be changed by by half a stop if you use the the hotkeys or if you use the the arrow keys here. If you click on the button, it will reset itself between the value that you set before and the value that you have now. Then we have the input color space. This is the open color IO to input color space of the image. By default, Mr. Viewer or MRV2, we shall remember to call it that, comes with the Nuke config IO, which is a very tiny configuration. You probably will want to change it to something else like cases or something like that. Uh, since it's a very simple configuration, it doesn't have different pull-down menus. It's just one, it doesn't have sub-menus. Sub it's just one big pull, pull menu. But if you're dealing with ACES, you will get different sub-menus. We'll probably have, have to work it out a little bit more in the next version so that you can sort it out alphabetically or do something like that more easily. Then you have the Then you have the display view of the open color I.O. By default, you will use RG sRGB, and you probably won't need to change it, except for Rec. 709, if you have a special monitor configured like that. Finally, we have the gamma setting. The gamma setting works just like exposure. It changes between two values, by default 2.2 .2 and 1, and the value can be changed and then it changes between that value and that. Now we, let's cover the pixel bar. The pixel bar has first the zoom setting. In this case we have a zoom of 1. We are seeing the, the image just as it is it, it's intended. However, we can zoom on 2, on 3, on 8, 
or make it fit. The fit will try to fit the image into the view window and it will scale it appropriately. Then we have the XY values, which are the pixel coordinates of your cursor. Then you have the RGBA or hexadecimal or 8-bit values of the pixels that you are in. By default, you probably want to work always in float, but in case you're dealing with some web stuff or something, you can work with hexadecimal, hexadecimal, I never know how to say it in English, or decimal values. The next value, the next button, is the full or original values. This, is, this has to do with open color I.O. When you are dealing with open color I.O., the default is full values, which shows you the value of the full color transformation. While if you are dealing with the original values, it will show you the color values of the, trans of the, of the image without the, the open color, open color I.O. transformation and without the gamma or gain transformation. And that's the same for all the values, here or here. Here are the HSV values, or they can be HSL, XYZ, etc. You, you choose whatever you like. You probably have to know a lot of our color to take advantage of that. By default, HSV or HSL should be more than enough for, for your taste. And finally, we have the luminance, which can be shown as lum luminance, luma, or lightness. The explanation is here in the, in the, tool, in the tool tip, how the expressions work. You probably don't want to work like that. You probably want to work with luminance directly, which is the, uh, the NTSC lumi luminance usually, or HDTV, sorry, luminance. Then we have the timeline. When we loaded the clip, the first thing we you should have noticed besides all the numbers that appear in the timeline, is that you have two bars, two color bars. You have the yellow color bar and the green color bar. The yellow color bar is the audio cache color bar, while the green color bar is the video cache color bar. When you're playing backwards, they reverse the, the, the order. When you seek, they will try to update automatically. Mr. Viewer, or MRV2, is really pretty good at trying to cache the channel, the images ahead of you. You can later see how we can affect this to better suit your needs when you have little memory or you are dealing with, with on the other hand, when you are dealing with some, a lot of compression and you need to cache more images. The timeline also has two settings, or three settings, sorry. It can be shown as frames, by which is a default. It can be shown in seconds, or it can be shown as time code. The, these settings change the time bar, the, as well as the entry values. This is the current frame. This is the start frame. And this is the end frame. The end frame and start frames can be changed by clicking on the S. And let's make it here short and end. And that will set up a loop. If we click on the buttons again, we we'll remove the 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 in and out points.
The next thing in the timeline are your playback controls, which should be obvious what they do, as they are your typical VCR. We can advance, sorry, let's change this again to raw. We can go frame by frame. We can use the short keys. Here in the playback menu, you can see the short keys which allow you to remember them. Playback is a little bit strange since we don't use JKL. The reason is that L is reserved for luminance, which we still don't have in Mr. VG, V2, but, but we'll probably have it soon. Okay, with that we finish the main tour of the of the Mr. Viewer window. In the next video we concentrate on the different on the different windows. Oh yes, let's do, deal with open color IO uh, quickly a little bit. If you want to change the open color IO uh, file is you go like that you go to the window preferences open color io and select a different open color io file 